Welcome. Uh, my name is Kenny. Uh, you might know me better as Kendo VT uh, on Twitter and on uh, DraftKings. Uh, today I'll be making a video to try and help you with your cash game picks for the Zurich Classic this week. Um, since this is the first time we've done this video, let's just go over what a cash game is for the new guys out there who haven't played uh, PGA DFS that much. Cash games are 50-50s, double-ups, and head-to-heads. They're a great way to build your bankroll since, you know, over 45% or 50% of the people that play these win double their money back. Uh, great way to build a bankroll and uh, you don't have to rely on GPPs and hitting the big one to actually grow the bankroll. That's why I like cash games. That's why I put most of my money in cash games because I feel safer trying to win double my money back than trying to hit on one big GPP every week. Uh, so let's talk about the course first off. It's uh, TPC Louisiana um, at, in Avondale, Louisiana, about 25 miles away from Bourbon Street. It's a Pete Dye design course, fairly easy to play. Lots of birdies. Uh, last few years, the average winning score has been between minus 15 and minus 22. Uh, lots of sand, lots of bunkers. What I'll be looking for this week uh, when it comes to key stats, is going to be strokes gain tee to green, birdie or better percentage, and uh, par 5 scoring, and proximity greater than 200 yards. When it comes to cash game plays, what I like to look for in a golfer is solid course form, or solid current form, really good key stats, you know, depending on the price, and I look at course history as well. And I know a lot of people aren't the biggest fan of using course history, but I use it in cash games because uh, I feel it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a good way to, to figure out um, how a golfer will perform at a certain course. Now, for GPPs, I don't look at it as much, but for cash, I definitely do. So let's get to our first pick to this week. Um, it's going to be Justin Rose at $11,800. He's going to be a staple in my cash game. Uh, his stats are great. He, his strokes gain tee to green. He's eighth. Birdie or better percentage, he's fourth. Uh, I'm sorry, he's eighth in birdie, birdie or better percentage as well. Par five scoring, he's fourth. And proximity from greater than 200 yards, he's 82nd. Uh, he's a good, good at par fours, and he's an elite sand player, which will come in handy this week since all the bunkers on the course. A couple of other little tidbits about Justin Rose. He's the eighth best putter on Bermuda Grass Green since 2013. He's also the best player on tour at Pete Dye courses since 2013 as well. I got this information from futureoffantasy.com. Josh Culp does a really, really good job on the site. Lots of really good statistical info uh, if you ever need it. So go check that site out. Uh, Justin Rose, last four times at TPC Louisiana, he's finished first, eighth, 15th and 10th so the course history is there and the last five events he's played he's finished 10th 9th 17th 16th and 6th so definitely the current form is there as well he's my favorite cash game play and he will be a staple in my lineup um other guys around this price that you might want to take a look at uh billy horschel uh, made a bunch of cuts he's had success here at tpc louisiana in the past also jason day I know he's $12,500, but he's a pretty safe play. If you can build a lineup that you feel comfortable with, with lower-end guys, with him, um, I'm not against it. Uh, a little bit lower-end price. My next favorite play is going to be Charles Howell the third uh, at $8,700. Stats-wise, strokes gained tee to green, he's 31st. Birdie or better percentage, he's 42nd. Par 5 scoring, he's 17th. And proximity from greater than 200 yards, He's 100th. Uh, he's really, really solid at par 4 scoring. He's a great scrambler and a very good sand player. So that should sort of nullify his uh, proximity stats If since he's such a good scrambler. He can get it up and down uh, when he misses the green. He's been very consistent this year. Uh, he's made 14 of 15 cuts with 11 top 25 finishes. He's sort of become the poor man's Matt Kuchar. He missed the last two or three cuts here at the Zurich Classic, but has made five of seven overall with a second-place finish in 09. 
Now, the two or three cuts, it is a little missed. It is a little bit worrisome, but his form this year is much better than it has been uh, those two years, so I'm willing to look past that. A couple of other guys in this price range that I wouldn't mind playing in cash games, uh, Patton Kazire, one guy to look at at, uh, I think, 82 or 8,300. Also, Ben Martin at 7,900, another Bermuda grass specialist. Uh, next up on my favorite cash game playlist, it's going to be uh, Luke List at $7,400. His stats, he strokes gain tee to green, he's 27th. Uh, birdie or better percentage, he's 83rd. Par 5 scoring, he's 27th. And proximity from greater than, 400, or greater than 200 yards, he's 43rd. Uh, this guy hits it a mile. He's a good scrambler, and even though his driving accuracy is really, really poor, he's very good at getting it, uh, a greens and regulation from off the fairway, which sort of nullifies uh, his uh, poor driving accuracy just a little bit. Uh, I think he's gained a little bit of confidence uh, since the Shell Houston Open. Uh, he was the first alternate, and then when J.B. Holmes dropped out, he took J.B. Holmes' place, and he was in the marquee group um, the first two days of that tournament with Jordan Spieth and Patrick Reed, and he really held his own. He played very, very well. Uh, he's made his last six of seven cuts on tour, uh, never finishing below 39th in any of those seven events, except for the one he missed the cut on. And he, in his only other appearance at TPC Louisiana, he finished 31st. Uh, a couple of other guys around this price range that you might want to take a peek at uh, for cash games. Uh, David Hearn, really, really good course history. We Kim, a little risky. But he's been playing well, uh, making a bunch of cuts, and he had success here last year. So let's go on to my final cash game play. Uh, it's going to be David Toms at $6,700. Uh, strokes gain tee to green, he's 28th. Uh, birdie or better percentage, he's 165th. Par 5 scoring, he's 165th. And then proximity from greater than 200 yards, he's 34th. When you get the guys below $7,000 in price, it's going to be hard to find stat studs. So you got to pick and choose uh, what you like and what you want to use um, as indicators of success when it comes to these under $7,000 guys. Uh, not the best birdie or better percentage, but he doesn't make many many bogeys. So every birdie year he makes it will be very important because he's not going to lose that stroke as much as others. Uh, he's also not great at par fives, but he plays par fours very well, and that came up in my... Uh, little model as well as something to look at when it comes to this course. He is actually the best scram, number one ranked scrambler and number one ranked sand player on tour this year. Pete Dye courses are known for, you know, tricky greens where, you know, if you just miss a little bit, they'll roll off the edge. There's a ton of bunkers. So scrambling and sand save percentage is definitely going to be something to key on. Um, he's made four or five cuts uh, recently, with a 14th place finish at Harbor Town a couple of weeks ago, which is another Pete Dye course. He's a Louisiana native uh, that has made his last eight cuts at TPC Louisiana. He's finished as high as fifth in the past, which was, you know, seven, eight years ago, so hard to rely on that. But he did finish 15th just two years ago. Other guys in this price range, it's tough. Uh, uh, Maybe Jason Gore, if you're looking even a little bit lower. Maybe um, Tim Wilkinson at $6,000. So that's it for this first uh, cash game play video that I've done. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully we can make this an every week thing. Good luck this week and uh, win all the monies. If you have any questions or comments, just uh, reach me at KendoVT underscore DFS on Twitter. All right, take it easy, guys.